Welcome back, folks. It's Hardcore Casual Gamer here, and we're going to play a little bit more Banner Saga 3. Uh, I really enjoyed playing it last time. I did use a weird mic setup last time. I'm going to go back to using my headset for this one. But enough technical jargon out of the way. Let's continue our adventure. A crush of people slowly pile through the gates, squeezing close together. The guard captain calls you over as you pass. He has Rugga close at hand. You have my attention for dealing with Rugga. It seems your reputation has some truth in it. King Minolf has asked for you personally to be his honored guest. I have ordered, been ordered to escort you to a gathering at the Great Hall along with this cur. Rugga flashes us the sort of grin that makes him so punchable. Good to see you too, Petrus. A captain now. You've been busy. Petrus restrains himself. You consider the king's unsurprising orders. Let's see. What made the king want to open the gates. Oh, sorry, I didn't do a voice for that, guys. Uh, I'll do better on the next one. I can't speak for King Minoff, but if these people had never joined banners with this snake, they'd have found safety a lot sooner. Another Minoff's lies. That reminds me. I need to find a gag. King Minoff will speak to you both when we reach the Great Hall. And do me a favor. I've got enough to deal with, ushering all these new refugees. I won't let Rugga out of my sights. Okay, so I guess Rugga is in our custody now? That doesn't exactly seem efficient. So look at how big the Varl are by comparison to normal humans. It's friggin' huge. So up here it shows you your clansmen, your fighters, and your varl. Uh, so each one kind of has like a different stat, you know. It, it, the game doesn't get too meta about it, then. but still, there's a lot. To, about to be a lot. I don't care if the looks work it. The fields between the outer and inner walls of Abring are brimming with different people and clans. All stare as the masses enter. A pair of curious children run to you and all. Can I ride the horse, people? Gasp a young boy. His mother grabs him by the arm, blurting apologies. A man with a short banner of his own approaches. Excuse my wife and son, he says. There isn't anyone in Aberang who hasn't heard of you. We're a small clan, he continues. Strong men and smart women, give us the honor of joining our banner to yours. Oddleaf gives you an uncertain shrug. Alright, so this is one of the moments where I want to say I can I can go with Vare, you got more clans from what we manage. Any allies are welcome in these times, or I can just try to ignore him. So if I decide I've got more clans than we can manage, maybe I miss out on some quality people, I miss out on just a bonus. If I say any allies are welcome in these times, that will start a subplot of them robbing me. We don't know. <laughs> so, uh, I, I always like to give people a chance. Uh, this is the game where you literally do not know. Well, you know, I've played a lot of Bioware games that kind of, oh, if I spare the guy, then I get an ally. Oh, I get a new companion. This is the game where it's like, oh, you spare the guy, here's a companion. Oh, you spare the guy, now that companion died. So, kind of inconsistent, but we're gonna we're gonna trust him. The man claps you on the shoulder, and many uh, clans promise to sew their banners to yours as you uh, travel towards the Great Hall. So we get a lot more clansmen, ten fighters, fifty supplies. Oh, but then we lose four supplies. The other, and morale declines. So yeah, uh, more morale will decline over time, especially like as we stay in one place, like if. We camp, there is a camp type system. 
barter thrives in the shadow of catastrophe as hunt people haggle, haggle their treasured fairly I cannot talk today, people. On their treasured family heirlooms for a handful of grain. Between robbery and theft, it's been a real problem, Petrus tells you. Oh, hang on. Between robbery and theft, it's been a real problem. Eventually, we gave up patrolling the lower rings of Aberang. Every man for himself down there. What? That kind of sucks. I guess it makes sense. You pass more than a few reminders of better times. Though gossip is traded freely, most items and supplies are outrageously expensive. Still, you can afford to take a look. So let's go ahead and browse the merchant stalls. So we're able to trade Renown, which is what we use to level up, to only either get supplies, which is always a good thing. Let's go 10. And we're also able to buy these uh, items, which are very powerful. Like this one, plus three all talents, plus 20% crit chance. That is some good stuff right there. Honestly, I may buy this. Ooh, I have to be ranked 10 to use it, though. That's another thing to pay attention to. So that means if I want to upgrade, say, Rook, I'm going to need... All right, or I'm going to need to upgrade him to rank 10 before he can even use this. Ooh, never deflected. I like that. That's pretty cool. Let's go with this. Ugh. Should we get the, the Garretter's advice? Ugh. No. No, let's just... Let's just get the, uh, the supplies. Ah, oh, now we're gonna do it. No, 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 we shouldn't do it. We shouldn't do it. We're good. We're good. Probably should have. It's a really powerful item. Plus three dollars. That's God damn. Why didn't I get it? I do like that you can tell who is who. So there's Gunolf, Haken. Uh, Moger, keep your eyes open. Some of these people were ready to kill us just a few hours ago. Sorry, I'll fix my resolution uh, for the next playthrough. And then I think that's... Uh, I forgot what the other guy's name was. Thought you'd get away with this? Man slurs nearby. He and his cronies are already drinking their way through the streets. I we demand justice. He bleats in the face of a confused horseborn. I had more horseborn rear up at spear point. Canary and her companions thrust weapons and wards uh, back at their accusers, unintimidated. I knew this would be trouble. Petrus grumbles. Petrus's guards try to separate the horseborn and the angry clansmen, but only manage to make things worse. You catch Raga chuckling under his breath. Justice for Tolair! Turns into a chant, spreading until it infects a great mass of people. The Horseborn came with you! They accuse. You're, pr you're protecting murderers! Someone attacks, and others follow. Oh, it's combat time! What's funny is I'm probably not even going to use... deflected on that one. All right, let's go ahead and ready up. Crowd looks riled up. Kill the rabble rousers in blue. The rest may flee. Sorry, I'll think of a better voice for Eric here. He needs more of a pretty boy voice, I think. And again, he does have a bear. I, I, I don't know too many pretty boys that just have a bear. Let's go ahead and move them up. And here we go. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's light this man up. Alright, so we need to kill the ones in blue. 
was what Eric said. So let's focus on them. I know I just totally shot a guy that probably didn't deserve it, but you know what? He, he stands with them. He, he gets it. There's the bear. Hopefully the bear will pull a lot of aggro. It kind of sucks that they focus on my bear. Ooh. Very decent damage. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's move the bear here. Let's just go ahead and maul. Let's get up. Oh, can't. Then. Break his armor down. We also need to focus on the archers, but maybe if we can take down these boys in blue. Alright, it'll end the battle early. That guy's gonna be a pain. Jesus, rookies. Eating it. There we go. Let's tear them down. Chris, what are your abilities? is already down. That is no bueno. Because unfortunately they decided to focus Rook and not my bear. I'm curious if I get like a bonus or anything if I just kill the blue guys, which I've already failed that miserably. So I'm not too concerned. If anything, I probably should try to kill all these guys first, just to make sure that I get all, all of my bonus, you know, or all of the renown from like, killing everyone. But honestly, we're just gonna kill who we can. said in the previous video about paying attention to who goes next does not really matter. So now we're in the pillage stage. Alright, Haken. Actually, earn your keep as the leader of the Varl. Ooh, God, 26 damage. Right. Canary, the usually charismatic leader of the large horseborn tribe, wears a deep scowl. If I remember correctly, the horseborn talk weird, like they don't know full English, they just know some words. Yeah. Why men attack? Why so much shout? Everyone thinks your horseborn pillaged totally. This is important, Canary. Is it true? City to east? Yes, kill many men. Take many things. You need more? Oddly's mouth opens but finds no words. You admit it. You plundered Tolir and killed the people there. Many food, many weapons. Bring to you. You eat, you take. You slaughtered them. And gave their things to us? Canary looks from Oddleaf uh, to you, puzzled, and then back to Oddleaf. Her front hooves pound the dirt, and she gestures in the air. You kill at walls. You kill on road. Man, horseborn, every. No, that's... Damn. 
It's not the same. She doesn't get the difference. They must have done this before we even met them. How are we going to explain this away? There's nothing to explain. We either defend them or we don't. Canary. So, at th this point, it's like choosing on if I want to make an enemy of the Horseborn or of somebody else further down the line. So I, I'm hoping that means humans, because I don't want to piss off any Varl, because Varl are the best. I love Varl. Sorry. The ones are so cool. I don't know. I, I'm not too terribly attached to the Horseborn. So, let's go ahead and protect them. She trots nervously in place, then exhales uh, through her nose and frowns. We listen, for now, but we are not pets. I have to hope this is all going to be worth the trouble, Oddleaf. Me too. I'm trying to think, what voice should I give Eric, though? And, and maybe Haken, too. <sighs> Sorry, some of these characters I haven't expected to speak, and then they do. I'm like, oh, I need to make them unique. Dang it. Yeah, much of the game takes place at this screen right here of just traveling through. You really just got to appreciate the artwork. I mean, look at the detailing. I mean, look at how different each individual person looks. See, there's clearly something going on here. You can actually zoom in and out. Yeah, the game is called the Banner Saga due to the fact that you tie your banners together to show that you're, like, joining a union. In the crowds, you notice new Varl who had just entered the gates. Haken has gone off to meet them, and eventually you catch up. A familiar face glares in your direction as you speak. Fasalt! I forgot what happened to him! Oh man, I wish I remember. I think he like stayed at the wall or something. There, there was a point where like this place was going to be overrun and I think he chose to stay in it. Oh, I can't remember what happened to him. Of, hmm, what voice should we give him? Eventually, we crossed paths with Bulwark and his ravens at the old fort. You remember Bulwark? The Berserker? Hard to forget. I thought I did some hard marches in our day, but not like this. Bulwark went his own way. Lucky we arrived when we did. I wasn't sure Aberang would still be here, or where you went. Have they treated you well since we parted, Haken? Well enough, all things considered. Fasalt gives you a cold stare. Don't think I've forgotten why I... I hmm. Einertoft? Einertoft. I uh, fell, little one. Or forgiven. So, there was a big fortress thing that we had to, like, abandon. Uh, I think it, it was a... Oh, yeah, it was a bridge. It was a big bridge. Uh... It was something that the Varl had made way back in old times, and I think we destroyed it to stop uh, Dredge from attacking us. So let's see. For what it's worth, I'm glad you made it, Fasalt. Fasalt. And I'll be glad to watch you fall to Dredge, in person, returning the favor. Where's your tamed one-armed uh, Varl, anyway? Gone up north, into the darkness. Juno and Ivan claim they could solve this. Is that so? Juno and Ivan. Makes you wonder who started the trouble in the first place. Grofheim is gone. Einertoft is gone. Jorinder, gone. The Dredge, on the other hand... Bulwark said he ran across Eilis near Bindal, and Bellower's probably on his way here right now. We defeated Bellower at Borsgard. I saw it myself. 
Bellua doesn't die. And what others like Walker or Seethe? We don't know where they went. Is Ubin around here somewhere to write these things down at least? Ubin is like the chronicler of the Banner Saga, but I don't think he actually is around here. So I... Afraid not. He decided to go south to Horseborn Lands. Of course he did. Then I guess we're the last Varl, Haken. Let us bring ruin to the dredge, like the old days. Of our bones, the hills! Haken breaks into a wide grin, clasping forearms with Fasson. A strange gladness about them. Of our bones, the hills! <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm not a rough and tumble guy, so it's difficult to do rough and tumble. But it's good, I'm glad to have him back. He was one of my favorite Varl. He had a decent little backstory. Although I don't see him right here, so that makes me wonder if I am actually going to get him as a uh, usable companion. I really hope I do. I'm assuming it's just because we're still in kind of an animation set. Like, next time we leave from a camp or something, then he'll be there. That or he hasn't officially joined my companions. Yeah, a lot of the game is just this walking, though. But, so pretty. Can't lie. The path crossing the field from the outer gate to the inner black rock is longer than it looks, but you walk through the dense, smoky streets, escalating toward the rise in the black rock plateau. Excuse me. Raga shuffles by beside the guards who carry his chains. He has been unusually silent, but now he speaks softly in your... Careful, Hana says, even before you hear the shouts. Looks like trouble ahead. It is trouble. A few yards ahead. You spy... Oh, dang it. He's not actually talking yet. It is trouble. A few yards ahead. You spy one of Petrus's guards, face down. An arrow in his head. Petrus uh, curses angrily and runs ahead, just as armed men appear from the crowd surrounding him and attack his guards. It would be a tragedy if something happened to him, Rugga taunts. Ah! Uh. So basically, we have to choose between, do we help out our new friend Petrus, who I admit looks pretty cool, he's got this sweet looking little face tattoo, or do we make sure that Rugga doesn't escape, and, or do we just let things play out? I don't like the idea of letting things play out. I feel like, oh man, I feel like if I choose to stay close to Rugga, Petrus is going to die. And I don't want Petrus to die. He seems cool. He see, he's new to Banner Saga. Uh, he's part three. So, uh, let's join him. Killers emerge from a well staged trap to plunge arrows and axe heads into more guards. An ambush! shouts Petrus. And let's ready up. I'm curious if I'm able to sell trinkets. Because some of these trinkets are a little low level that I got back in the first map or something. And they're useless now. Okay, so let's go ahead and move you up here. You here. Okay, so Petrus is level 10. I'm assuming that's Petrus. Yeah. Go ahead and move here. Let's just go ahead. And just do damage straight to him. Let's hope that Rugga doesn't escape because we decided to help. Okay, I really should keep Rook back. Alright, so there's a bear right in the middle of them. Hopefully they'll attack him and not Rook. Okay, so he's just shielding up. Let's just do six damage to this guy. I can't remember what happened. I, I had a guy that used a very similar player model, or character model. Uh, he may have used the same character model, not sure. But he was blonde and an axe wielder, and I really liked him. Uh, 
him and his brother, they were twins. So of course, like, you really only needed to use one of them. It was kind of unnecessary to bring both. But they were really cool characters. Or at least one of them. One of them settles down, though. I do know that that happened to him. Bad man, just hit him up. Okay, so people are joining. Oh, you look like you could use some help. I kind of recognize that that character model. He looks familiar. I, I don't know if he's who is he? Good Mundo. All right, all right, cool. I mean, I'll, I'll take more guys. I'm curious if I'm going to get to keep him. You're gonna be a ranger. Oh, okay, so I actually get control over Petrus. Petrus is getting hurt, so let's go ahead and let's send Petrus way over here. Do I have anything like what is reinforcements? Calls one of his men to back him up? That seems extremely helpful. Yeah, I, r I really hope I get to keep Petrus. There's a move that guys with axes get that I love. Oh, this guy only has two health. Let's take him down. Alright. And it's where they just kind of just wail on him. Just go. Uh, and it, it's pretty great. I mean, it is a, a potent little move. And it's really good at doing both armor damage and health damage. Ooh, yes. Nice little bit. Okay. So then... Yeah, spear guys can attack from much further away. Okay, let's go ahead and move the bear here. Bear can do the nine damage needed to kill that man. Alright, Haken. One thing I like about the Varl is, even though they are big and they don't always have the most movement range, they just hit hard. Victory! Alright, now let's see if Rugged decided to be a little shit ass in this game. Hopefully, he did not. But we'll see. Petrus rallies his men with tremendous skill. You quickly repel the ambush with his help, wiping his blade clean. Of blood. Petrosin leans into Rugga, uh, hard with fist and feet, until the man is curled into a quivering ball on the ground. <laughs> oh. I knew I liked Petrus. The thrashing ends with Petrus is satisfied, and the fighter who joined you in battle paces nearby. Ooh, okay, what, what do we think this guy is? Bastards! Utter bastards! This has been a miserable hard road, and I wasn't willing to watch good men go down like that. Damn it. <coughs> <coughs> I'm Gunmender, he continues. Lots of us around here from Bindle. I was captain there myself. He glances. Oh, he glances at his banner, trampled and bloody, and notices yours. Oh, I'll admit, we could be doing a lot better. You take the hint. I definitely want this guy. I mean, plus, look at his eye. He's, like, clearly got some shit going on with his eye. Like, he lost an eye. Scars are always cool as hell. Yeah. I swear. Gunmunder replies. He gathers his tattered banner and sends word along to his people. 360 clansmen, 140 fighters. Ooh, and some supplies. Ooh, 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 ooh. I feel like this is going to bite me in the ass, because that seems way too good to be true. Petrus and uh, Gunmunder, uh, chat as you continue to, to the Great Hall, kindred spirits. 
sounds cool. Uh, let's see. So there's Fast Salt. So he is a party member now. Let's see if we can see. Looks like an awful lot of stairs. And no doubt why mine all fun feels safe watching from above. Where where's the lot of stairs? Does that end look like a lot? I'm assuming there's about to be a much, much taller amount of stairs. You finally approach the black stone walls deep at the center of Aberang. Petrus instructs you to head up the stairs while he hauls Rugga away. Oddleaf's Bleh. Oddleaf huffs, oh, when she learns she can't join you. I guess only the important people are invited, she says. I'll try to find a place for the rest of us. Where do you think is best? I mean, I feel like I trust Oddleaf's judgment. Like, I don't know what is the best choice, and I feel like this is going to get me bonus points with Oddleaf. I'll do what I can, says Oddleaf. But uh, on top of that hill is where we ought to be. Oddleaf looks back at the Great Hall. Maybe if you had the King's Ear? She suggests. Okay. The Black Rock Plateau uh, casts a long indigo shadow over you like a storm cloud. As you climb the steps, the view shifts from verdant green hills into morbid panorama of carnage and darkness. Jesus, that's some Edgar Allan Poe shit right there. Eventually you come to stand beside rich and powerful men with long names and banners, called before King Minolf as you were. Haken is here, as well as Canary, both given a wide berth. From where you stand at the back of his enormous hall, King Minoff looks small and withered upon the throne. Oh, he does. I think he looks a little unhealthy. He speaks slowly as if stepping carefully through cobwebs of old memories. You can he only hear bits and pieces about changes of heart. Protecting the weak. Eventually give up trying to make out the words. Suddenly the hall goes silent. Everyone has turned to stare at you. King beckons. You approach. Oh boy, fellas. And ladies. I love this art. With this, king, the king sends the crowds away and takes you aside privately. You are to be thanked in person for bringing my son home to me. Now I'm afraid I must selfishly beg a favor of you. The road between Borsgard and Aberang is long, especially shared with a man like Rugga. Tell me, how did you fare in his company? Uh, this sounds opinionated and like angry. We definitely did not agree on much, and he also definitely tried to kill me. So let's go with that one. Rugga tried to kill me. You're not the first. Yet somehow he commands the loyalty of many. Maybe it says something about the hearts of men. I suspect you already know this. But the man has poisoned me. He did it when we met in good faith to negotiate peace. My menders have been unable to find a cure. Rugga and I have something of a long and miserable history. No doubt he means to watch me wither on the throne. But perhaps you've seen his weakness, something with which to coax an antidote from him. Convince him on my behalf. Ooh. Okay, so, am I the best guy for the job? What's in it for me? I've got needs of my own. I feel like needs of my own 
should be what I should say. I don't know, you're talking to the king, so let's go with this one. Am I really the best hope for this? You're not my only, but if I know Rugga, this is all part of a game, and I will use every option I have. Succeed and you'll know my generosity. Hmm, can we now? Cool. King calls for Petrus, and you soon hear his hard boots echoing off the high ceilings. My king. Captain Petrus, our friend Rook has agreed to speak with Rugga. And Petrus, follow our guest's orders. You are now his to command as he needs. See that this gets resolved as soon as possible. An honored guest. Okay, so we get renown whenever we get an achievement. Cool. Okay, so we are at a really good stopping point right here. So I think I will end the video. Once again, tell me what you guys think. I really uh, love this game. I'm enjoying what I'm seeing. Uh, I'm probably going to play more right away. I don't know, though. I want to try to get this uploaded as soon as possible, though. But other than that, hardcore casual gamer, and this has been a ton of fun. Stay awesome, folks. I'll see you next time.